So, Tom, for, for the year, the regular season, we end with Jack Clausel leading the team with 15.6 points. Our leading field goal percentage was Evan Schomer with 57.6. Mm. Two-pointers were Evan with 62.2 from two-point land. Three-point Cameron with 44.8. Our free throw, Cameron Meyer, he had to have at least 10 attempts, 81%. Okay, okay. Jack Clauso had 184 rebounds. For the season. This For is the season, season. yeah. Will Clauso had 154, averaged 6.4 game. Will Clauso had 57 steals, 2.4 per game. And Cameron had 29 block shots, 1.1 a game. Pretty good, uh, pretty good season stats there, Tommy. It is all around balance. It's good. We're going with the same guys. Oh, Cameron checks in. Who did he get? Give it to him. Jack, nice post. That's out of bounds, and it's settled. <laughs> all right. Uh. So who came out here? Jack is taking a breather. And Willie's taking a breather. And coming in the game is Evan and who else? Cameron. Correct? I think correct. And Evan with a miss. Oh, we're going to have to tuck our shirt in here, number 11, the sophomore. But they're letting some things go here. I like that because you're oh going to have to get yeah. used to that. This is postseason fall. <laughs> we're not calling ticky tack. And I like that. That's okay. Cameron, I believe, has nine points, three threes so far. I like Cameron out on here, the point, that long oh, stretching out arm. Oh, I love it, arm. too. On the top of the one, two, two, possible travel. <coughs> no one over there. That was just, uh, you got lost in the corner, and we know better than that. We're playing too hard on that reversal as opposed to the weak side. Dylan has it looking. Gives it off to Cameron. I want Dylan or, or Schmitty to be assertive here. You don't got Willie in here. You got no one that's going to. You got to be a serve. Don't lull asleep in here. Look at that. Spin move right there. Nice patience. Like that and one. Nice patience. Hey, he's a man child when he does it. Do you see how quick he spun it? It was like Brett Anderson used to spin on that baseline. Yep. Excellent patience by Evan to wait for it. Wait for him to come down. Then do it. Then take the shot. If we have Evan do that consistently every game, go to the we're going to be tough yeah. to beat. Evan, free throws up and good. And I got to believe Evan's one of our better free throw shooters, too. Yeah, he is. Is he not? He is an excellent free throw shooter. 26 to 7. Seven minutes left here in the first half. Ooh, is there's that a, not a shove off or what? That's foul. an offensive foul. Even if you're letting things go. 10. Nice team turnover by the Norsemen. You just don't see that too often. And no, you don't. Maybe every 10 games, if right. you, something like that. But I want to see someone to be assertive in here. Dylan, Schmitty, take him off the dribble. They're begging for you to take him off. Oh, nice dump. Good pass right away. Dylan, Dylan comes up it with yet. it. Gives it off to Evan. Evan, got it. Nice job by Dylan. <laughs> he makes it look easy, doesn't he? Yep. Well, folks, if you don't know Dylan Patrick, he's going to be your next great guard. Oh, that was a long pass for them to handle. See, it's all about anticipation and getting to your spots. I like how you got that quick up there. I like how they put Cam up there with the long arm. Makes him try to do that floater pass. Yep. Yeah, when, you, when you're trying to pass over 6'6". Six, six. It's hard to anticipate that. I'm sorry, it is. It's a long three. 28 to 10. They've got to double digits here with six minutes remaining in the first half. Yeah, Willie and Jack are going to come back in. Yep, keep the pressure going. Come on, Schmitty, take him. Like you were saying, it, we're not being assertive enough. I know we're dumping it in. We're doing nice high lows, but it would be, be great to more shove it down harder. Nice. Look at that pass. Nice dish. Oh, oh. in and out. Reward the guy. Evan had that. You know, it was in and out. I think three quarters of the ball was down. Yeah, nice dish by Dylan. We'll go back with the starters. And they're going to get a nice hand. Poor Evan could hold on to that one there, too, either. 
Yep. Uh, to somebody's 10. coming right back out now. Schmidt going right back in. He didn't even have time to get a quick little sip of water. Stevie with the deflection. Willie with the steal. Over to Cameron. Oh, he was going to fire that, and I like that. Again, got settled, got hacked, no call. Off of Cameron. That's good we call. Got it. We good got call. it. Good call. It was on the ba off the back of 13 there. It rolled right off his back there. He couldn't see. We didn't have a really good angle there. It looked like a carom off of uh, Cameron, I think. And coach is taking Evan out. He's going to have a little chat about. Well, it was a mi uh, I think something a misassignment or something. Nice floater. Man, we've had a lot of in and out right there. That's three buckets that have been in yep. and come right out. Long three for the Huskers. Nothing doing. Schmitty. Schmitty skies for the and board. And then he's straddled. Straddled uh, Stevie, who was underneath. Nice post-up play. Jack with a possible hook and then dives in. Travel. Might have been. You know what? It might have been the right call because he, he stepped with one foot. He stepped with one foot. Then he, when he jumped in, he stepped with the other foot. You're giving the ref. When he sees that, it's automatic travel. When they see automatic, that, automatic. Right. At this level especially. Charge. Oh, nice play by Schmidt. That's what gets you done in postseason play. That's the stuff that you don't see in the box score, but that's what wins ball games. Yep. And we actually keep that stat, Tom. We do. Yeah. That's good. Well, we do, but some people don't. That's right. <laughs> because that's awesome. But you know what? Reward the man. He just took it. A, get him the ball. Yeah. Reward him. We got a little stagnant here for the last two minutes. We got to get out of that. Jack from downtown. No good. Uh, wow. He, slightly missed. 28 to 10. We haven't scored. We've only scored, what, three points this, this yeah, quarter. Yeah, not good. We've gotten that funk, man. And Luckily, they haven't scored much anything either. Why is Jack out front guarding the point guard? Um, somehow that got changed up. I don't know what that was. Well, we got to get focused and back to basketball here, kids. Forget about the antics here. Cameron with a miss. Timeout, Serena. Well, you, we're letting Serena back in the ball game, and you can't do that against this on their home floor. That's what I don't like. I mean, the second quarter, you kind of fell asleep. Everybody fell asleep on our side. And they got frustrated because a couple in and outs, you should have had it. Oh, we should have got fouled there. But you go, you got to just put that, you got to block that out, guys. Yeah, you got to no, block it out. Norris are only shooting 41% from the field right now, 62.5% from downtown. Uh, they have 13 rebounds, 8 assists, 6 steals, only 2 turnovers this game. Uh, let's see. Cameron is leading all scorers with 9. Willie with 7. Evan with 5. Stevie with 4. Jack with only 3. <laughs> Norseman up. 16 points. Well, hey, you're, you're going to hit funks. I always thought, you know, any team, even a bad team, is going to have a run. you got to stop that run. In postseason play, you got to stop that run. you got to say, okay, the breaks are going against us a little bit. You stop it. You try to manufacture some points. Get to the three-throw line. Get some easy buckets. Stevie McGrath checks out, and Evan checks in. Coach just trying a different mix-up, like usual, chess player. Serena, they just want to hang around. If they can get it, get it within 10 at half, that's a good situation for that's them. That's a walk, man. Walk, possible. Good call there. He stepped out. He can't come out. He stepped out of that line. Can't reenter and catch the ball. He's got to establish himself. Yeah. This is where I want to see here. Let's get it to the block. Get Drive in there and get it to the block, unless Cameron's got a wide open three. Get it to him. Nice dish. Nice Get to pass. the rim. There you go. Cameron thought about it, I think. I think he thought about going up and dunking that.
You know what that was? The kid had a free area, but he saw Evan and those guys come and Cam come for the block. Yep. Just the pressure of them coming. Who are they going to call that on, Evan? From his angle, from that ref's angle, it looked like it had to be Evan. I thought Evan got hit on the arm, but there again, I'm going to say this. They're not going to call a lot of those fouls. This group's not, and they've been consistent on both sides not calling it. Six fouls for Serena, three fouls for Newark, 2.45 remaining here in the first half. Norseman up 18, 30 to 12. Near five count there, Tommy. That it is. Now he just, just dribble, yep. threw it over there and just come get it for me. Thank you. This is going to be a near 10 count again. Matt Meyer wanted the 10 count over there. Possible travel there, no call. Three-pointer for the youngster. They're within 15. Split our score in half. 2.20 remaining. Willie bringing the ball up. That's Evan from downtown. That hit the top of the yep. thing. It's the first three-pointer I've seen Evan Probably in four or five at games. At least. And here comes Stevie. I'm guessing he'll get, and Dylan will get Evan. Coach did not Jack. like Evan taking that three. Well, I think he's just switching up to go with. Uh, well, I think you need to go the quicker front. Your big guys yeah, ain't having success right now. He's going with speed right here. That's okay. I just don't want to give any momentum to Serena going into the second half. I mean, I don't like this, well, we stuck around Newark kind of thing, moral thing, because that's what they're trying to do. Schmidt comes down with the rebound and nearly just loses it. Why are we just in such a big hurry? Dealing with Look the at that. Nice Cameron pass from downtown. Bam! That's four of them. Nice pass by Dylan Patrick. Nice set move. Him up. He could have been selfish and tried to get the foul and take it in, but he knew the, the best percentage there, get Cam the ball. Yeah, when you're Very shooting. Very unselfish. 40% plus from three-point land. Look oh, at that. Look at Did Willie. you see that? Yep. Just picked the pocket. Again, the unselfishness. This is what you want. I think that was the right move. Put that little bit of quickness in there, kind of match their quickness. 112 up, 35 15. Norseman extended to a 20 point lead. That was a pretty tic tac foul for uh, what they've been calling. It's only Newark's fourth team foul. That's only Schmidt's first. No big deal. 107 remaining. Keep the momentum here. You got a minute left to play. Hey, Keep you have, the momentum. And Frankly, you have two fouls to give. I use them. Trying to get the ball, trying to get steals. That's five seconds. That's not. Is, what, what are they going to do? Are they, they calling call a technical? Foul? They call it a technical on foul? On Willie. Willie got the T. No, on Dylan. No, they called it on number two. Dylan doesn't even know what happened. Hey, that's what happens when you have targets on your back. It so happens, you ain't going to get those benefit of the calls, man. Well, you got to be smarter. I don't even know what happened. He said something that he didn't. I didn't foul him in the ref to don't be talking back. That's basically what it was. We just don't see that. Good to see him miss them both. Now, uh, Dylan had a good defensive thing. I didn't think there was no foul. It was just good defense. Should have been five seconds. Right, I can't believe that they call the technical. Rick still has no clue what what the technical was for. Rick's hot. That's okay, man. I like that, man. Get a little get a little ticked off. You got to, man. Dylan going right back. I in. like it, man. If I'm Dylan, I get right back up in his grill. Finally. I love the <laughs> fact that Dylan went right back at you it. You got to. I like it. That's good. That's good. I like when you get a little feistiness. You got a little bit of that in your game. That's what it's about, Phil. Yeah, that's huh? awesome. But that no, was awesome. that's when you know a good player. He's got the bulldog mentality. Yep. Here comes Jack and Evan. 
I think that's and, a smart move, yep. though, to get Dylan. Okay, let's just settle it down. Dylan, you did your point. I get it. Don't worry about it. Dylan goes, I didn't know what I did, Coach. He still doesn't. I, we're going to watch the video at halftime, see what I he think, did. I don't think they're holding it. They're going to go. I like this. Rick's going to be aggressive here. Forget this. Let's go. Jack has it. Drives, gives it off to Willie. Willie steps. Yep, he traveled. He, did you see how he shuffled both feet yep. at the same time? I like the aggressiveness, though. 40.2 left, 35-15. I'd still do it any day of the week. Both teams are in the bonus, even if it is for this last 30 seconds. Come on, Stevie, bait him in here. Bait him. They call it on Evan. That's his second, I'm sure. He'll be shooting two, made the first. 35-16, 28.5 left. Second shot is up and good. Now they're gonna press you, which I still think's a mistake. I wouldn't do that, but if you wanna give us an easy layup, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, we like easy layups. That's a foul, is it not? Willie Was that a foul? Great move, great move. 37-17, 20 point lead. Evan doesn't want to get that foul. Jack with a rebound. Gives it off to Willie. Got 10 seconds here, guys. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Ooh, ooh. Jack has it. Three seconds, two seconds. And one, no. Good job, Jack, not talking about it. 37-17. And that's your halftime score. And we'll be back, Tom. Wow. With about uh, three minutes left, we'll, we'll come back on Norseman basketball.